Welcome back into MC5 News. We have a very special guest today. I have the honor to talk to current LA Sparks rookie and Oregon's very own Cameron Brink. Cameron, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You're a few weeks into your rookie season in the WNBA. How are you feeling and what's been the biggest adjustments to your pro level so far? It's been a whirlwind for sure. I was just in college a month and a half ago, so um, I'm still adjusting and I think I'm giving myself grace to the adjustment, but it's really truly been a blast. Um, I would say the biggest adjustment is the speed, physicality, IQ, everything is, is heightened at this level, but um, it's been a blast and I'm just very thankful to be a part of it. You played college ball at Stanford. What part or parts of your game would you say the Cardinal and the Pac-12 in general helped prepare you for most in the, MB in the WNBA? Yeah, I think especially Tara Vanderveer helped me um, just with, you know, the life um, lesson of preparedness and being prepared for everything. So knowing the plays, knowing the scouting report, everything. Um, I also think Stanford helped me develop my defensive skills. So I think that's been very helpful. Um, but yeah, everything. I'm very, very thankful for my Stanford years. And um, it's just it went by so fast. They say it does. They say it goes by fast and you don't believe them. But you know, once it happens, you know, wow, it, it was a blink of an eye. So Definitely, definitely. Switching gears just a little bit, you've been very open about prioritizing mental health. What does that balance between basketball and life off the court look like for you? Yeah, so I'm, I've been very open about mental health. Um, it kind of started during COVID. I think that was just such a hard time for everybody. And so that's when I really started to just really prioritize self-care and, and trying to feel my best every day. And so... What helps me, I, I struggle with anxiety at times and, and sleep really helps combat that. So um, it's great. Now I'm a, a founder of Team Sleepwell at Mattress Firm and it's just about connecting top athletes like myself with sleep experts to help prioritize our rest and recovery. So um, we get uh, matched with mattresses that help us sleep better. And for me, I got matched to a mattress. I'm a picky sleeper, I need a firm mattress. And my sleep has been so much better and it's definitely tied to my mental health and I feel less anxious and I can, you know, perform my best every day. But it's definitely an ongoing process finding what works for you. The league has two expansion teams on the way. First question about this topic, what do you make of just in general the recent growth in women's basketball? Um, I make of it that um, it's just really great. I think finally the media has really been pouring into us, and I think that's kind of what has started this new wave. But I think um, hopefully this momentum continues because we still have so much to offer. I hope, you know, it doesn't just die down all of a sudden. But I don't think it will because we just have a lot to offer, and there's just going to be a lot of exciting games to come. So the league has a lot to offer. And it's been reported that Portland is a potential expansion destination. What's your pitch to the league to get a team here in Oregon? Yeah, I've been saying this for a while, but I think, you know, the Thorns, the, the Portland Thorns are a great example of how the fans rally behind women's sports in, in Oregon, so especially Portland. So I think um, a W team would be great and people would really rally behind them. And um, I would love to go home and play in front of family. So. Um, I think it's a great option and we just need more growth because there's too many talented women um, for this league. So we just need to keep providing spots for people that deserve them. Absolutely. A couple questions before I let you go. What's something not a lot of people know about you that you don't mind sharing with us? Um, that's always the hardest question. I never know how to answer that. I think um, I'm honestly very open about you know, who I am and what I do. I love fashion. I love being a girly girl. I'm a huge family person. Um, recently, I've really loved doing crosswords. I kind of have like weird obsessions. Now my obsessions are, are crosswords on these long charter flights, which we get charter flights now as a league, which is incredible. So we're very thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a nerd at heart. I went to Stanford. So <laughs> anything I can do to ex exercise my brain. Um, on flights I love to do. Absolutely. Well, Cameron, this has been such a treat. Thank you so much for sitting down with me, and best of luck the rest of the WNBA season. Thank you. I really appreciate it.